What's up YouTube, this is JB Panther, back with a video, and today's video is actually another Disney news update video, and I feel like, again, I was going to do this yesterday, but I was really, really tired, I came from work and stuff like that, and now that, you know, um, I have a little bit more time, I'll talk about it. So this comes from Deadline.com, this comes from yesterday, again, I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. So Disney uh, firm goals pretty much lays off 100,000 people, stock, pop, uh, stock uh, drops after two analyst downgrades. I'm just going to read the most important stuff because a lot of this stuff is super, super long. Um, it says Disney stock uh, dropped more than 3% in the early trade Monday after analysts, you know, the downgrades. Uh, the coronavirus, uh, you know, Coronas 19 has affected a lot of uh, companies and have done cutbacks. The Financial Times reported that over the weekend that 100,000 employees nearly in the Dean parks would be laid off. A, a move that is expected to save the company $500 million a month. The company is rem uh, recommending that workers seek state benefits during the layoff period, the, the paper said. The cutbacks uh, affect nearly half of the company's total uh, workforce. Shares fell $103 uh, $3 in the early going. Barely two months ago, they were above $140. Uh, Disney uh, unions reached an agreement several weeks ago to the 43,000 workers at Disney World in Florida it has reached an agreement with unions to uh, let go of workers at Disneyland and uh, the number of employees weren't specific. Disney has 177,000. Uh, wow, that's a lot. Theme park workers around the world. That's crazy as hell. And of course, they talk about the cruise lines, how they got affected. Um, Trying to see the negativity, blah, 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 the outbreak. I mean, it's kind of talking about stuff I already know about. The streaming service, blah, blah, blah. There's the only thing that's really making them money. Uh, Fargo is accomplished by executive pay cuts to uh, uh, last week it earned into $5 billion, one year credit agreement. I mean, this is all stuff I already kind of talked about. But again, I'm just going to kind of give you my quick thoughts about this real quick. Again, it's sad. We know what happened. You know, the coronavirus is hitting everything. I mean, it's even hitting my job, to be honest with you. But... Um, but the problem is if you're non-essential, you're pretty much screwed. If you're essential, you're pretty much okay for now. But even then, that still could get cut open because you don't know what can happen. Um, you know, it's just, you know, it's real life, you feel me? But also the problem is it does, you know, also it's sad and everything like that. But also it does show you that a lot of these companies, they don't have, like, for example, I think, again, all these companies getting hurt and stuff like that. But the problem is, I think Disney's the one that's the biggest one because, you know, we talked about this before. Disney bought all these properties, you know, like, you know, they have ABC, ESPN, uh, Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar. They bought Fox for $71 billion, flexed their muscles, made like $13 billion. Well, what was it, like $13 billion or some shit last year with all the movies they had? And they're kind of like, oh, we're too big to fail. We can flex our muscles. And then something like a coronavirus happens, knocks them all out. It, and, you know, they act very, very different, you feel me? And also the problem is, I do think that it's sad, don't get it wrong, and the problem is, is that I do think a lot of, I think life's just going to change after this, man. There's no way in hell that, you know, things are going to go back to normal, and, uh, you know, you could go back to the way it was before. It's not going to be normal. It's going to be a whole different era now. Um, you, you, you know what I mean? Like, if you're just being honest about it and not just BSing you, I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit you guys about what's happening around the world and stuff like that. And the thing is, I do feel like did, at all the companies, you know, they're getting hurt, whatever. But I think Disney's the one to do because think about it, they bought Fox for seventy one billion dollars. I said it before. I said I think that was the dumbest decision you could have ever made because when you look at all the properties, it's trash. It's not worth anything. That's why Murdoff sold it because he had no problem buying it. Um, I would have just bought the X-Men Fantastic Four, Deadpool, and Blade, and all the Marvel stuff. In my perspective, I don't care. I don't care what you say. If you like, if Disney had $71 billion and they didn't spend it on Fox, they could have used that money right now to pe keep their employees at least for a couple months and at least, um, you, you know what I mean? They don't have to freaking beg, uh, borrow money and stuff like that. They would at least be able to keep their workers and employees on the payroll uh, for at least a couple of months rather than freaking um for like a month you feel me and again they, you know like they were kind of telling you that you know after april whatever you guys are screwed you guys are screwed but you could at least cap them off for a couple of uh, months whatever and you know and still pay the bills but instead now they're borrowing money you know marvel studios they lay off a lot of people at marvel studios lucasfilm uh, Pixar, you know what I mean? They're laying off a lot of people. And also the comic book industry, there's American comic book industry, they're screwed as well. Um, 
you know, I know Shonen Jump and Shueisha, again, I have another video talking about all that happening, but um, the problem with, um, if you're talking about with Marvel Comics and DC Comics, the way uh, anime and manga is and stuff like that, the Japanese anime manga, at least Shonen Jump, whatever, they're not going to curse out their fans and tell them to go fuck off and, you know, saying that you're sexist, you're racist, and stuff like that. And American comic books, because they felt like they're so... Uh, secured financially they could kind of just say whatever you want they could do a gotham high uh new warriors and then we just have to eat it up and the problem is that's the big thing people are saying is that you guys got these disney and marvel disney freaking disney marvel warner brothers dc you guys have these movies like avengers endgame and joker that makes all that money and it doesn't transfer to the comic books at all and it's kind of like crazy like why don't you if you own this shit you should promote it on the freaking like they should do something where it's like okay well before the movie starts make sure you support your local comic book shop so we can keep these stories going and stuff like that you know what i mean they don't do any of that crap they're just like fuck it we're gonna take the story idea and just do whatever we want and i do feel like hollywood's gonna be different and then even like for example um i forgot the dude's name uh the dude who plays hawkeye uh, oh yeah, Jeremy Renner. He pretty much, I guess it was like a month ago, I, I saw an article where like since, you know, the coronavirus has happened, they, he pretty much went in court and pretty much says that I need you guys to reduce uh, uh, the, ch the child support, uh, uh, whatever, the child support uh, payment, whatever, because I'm not making any money because the coronavirus has shut down uh, my business, oh, well, at least my uh, job opportunity because you know he's supposed to do Hawkeye and other Marvel movies but since it's shut down he doesn't have any revenue coming in there so I guess he has to work it out with the courts and stuff like that and reduce uh, the child support uh, percentage and pretty much whenever I get income I can give you the money back and stuff like that so again even he's going through it and another actors and actresses are going to go through it and i do think a lot of them are going to wake up you feel me because before they were just doing imagine and stuff like that and it's like you know once disney and all these top top corporations get hit you know the stars and the actresses and the directors they're going to get hit too but the problem with them is that they have contract legally and stuff like that. So they can't just be like, well, we're going to decrease your pay by this and that. Uh, they have to go to courts and all this other shit, whatever. So they have, they're have they still on payroll, you feel me? Like, the everyday regular people who work at, like, Lucasfilm, Pixar, and, like, freaking Marvel, the the bottom people could get hurt. But, like, the top people like Kathleen Kennedy and Kevin Feige and freaking Bob Iger and Bob Sheckman, they're not going to get Or Alan Horn. They're not gonna get it. They might have like ten percent or fifteen percent of their executive salary cut, but overall, if you made billions, of, millions, and billions of dollars, that shit is not nothing to you. You feel me? You already have enough money stored up where you can financially secure yourself if something does happen. So again, um, it's sad. Um, you know what I mean? It's and I and I do think again. I think it's gonna change life. I do think Hollywood is not gonna be. I real people say, well, do you think Hollywood will go super woke? I'm not sure. Because Hollywood doesn't learn their lesson. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even if you have a pandemic like this and you have a bunch of movies like the the feminist movies or the woke movies, they still will make the stupidest dumb decisions regardless. And I do feel like, um, you know, it, it's going to be a little bit more for them to wake up. You feel me? Even if you have a pandemic like this, they still going to do some woke SJW bullshit. You feel me? So even, you know, that's just my personal opinion. You feel me? If they learn, they learn. But I just don't think they're going to be the same company before. I don't think they're going to be throwing out money like it's nothing. And also, it does show you that these companies really don't have money like that. You have to list assets. A lot of the money they have is from banks and loans and shareholders, investors and stuff like that. So they're playing around with money most companies don't have a uh, billion four billion dollars to buy marvel and star wars and throw it out there uh, and just throw it out there like that you feel me that's just how it is but with them you know it's a little a lot more different it's kind of like they're showing you uh they're showing you something that's fake on the screen but then behind the scene it's a bunch of bullshit so that's just what it seems like right now so again that's pretty much it guys tell me what you guys think about this it's really sad um, that Disney's laying off 100,000 workers. I do think a lot of the Disney, I do feel bad for a lot of Disney workers, Disney employees. Uh, hopefully you guys bounce back. Uh, I know that he did it pretty much saying that you got, they're gonna keep them, they're gonna pay for the health insurance and all that stuff, whatever. But then they're pretty much telling the workers you gotta uh, file for unemployment pretty much. And again, it's sad, it is what it is, um, you know, but it does show you that a lot of these companies when shit goes left they're willing they're willing to throw away uh you know 
the the lower the the lower guy you know what i mean like uh the bottom people so just let you guys know so that's pretty much it guys let me know what you get the, uh let, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe make sure you subscribe to the channel peace and have a great day and take care